Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kara. Thank you for stopping by. Today we will be unboxing the Cybex Gazelle S stroller in lava gray along with the bassinet which is sold separately. Then we'll be walking through a few of the different configurations you can do with what you get with the stroller along with the bassinet and with a car seat as well. Now I am a new mom, this is my first pregnancy, so I don't have the rite of passage or the ability yet to tell you uh, what stroller to buy, right? I am simply just going to show you everything at face value and from there you can make your own informed decision. So I hope this helps and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here is the box that it comes in. It's a little bit heavy. The stroller is on the heavier side. That is something to consider when purchasing a stroller. However, that was not a particular problem for us because we did appreciate all of the various aspects to it. We didn't mind the weight. Everything comes nicely packaged, safe and secure. Here's some accessories, the canopy, rain cover, some more wheels. Here's the main stroller configuration, the chair it comes with along with the basket. And here's me just laying everything out for you. Okay, so here's everything it comes with. Here are the various different configurations. As you can see, there's quite a few, which was a great selling point. However, the instruction manual uh, does not have any words in it, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. But here's everything you get. Obviously the stroller, the seat. This is a storage basket, handle, cup holder. We have the wheels. Uh, that's a rain cover in the cover and then the car seat adapter. Also, don't forget to register your product. Time to build. Now the instruction manual does come with QR codes on each page that takes you to the website and has various instructions and videos. So that was helpful. The wheels were pretty easy to just slide right on in. And then I'm opening it up to start inserting the chair. Here's a better look at the seat that it comes with and you just slide it right on in. I'm not sure if any of you just heard my dog sneezing in the background. Anyways, you can put the chair in an upright position or you can lay it almost completely horizontal just by pushing in the button at the back and then you can also adjust the footrest. Now I'm just clipping on the canopy. You can also open it up to reveal the mesh as well. It zips up quite easily. And here is me just showing you the rain cover. Of course have to have the cup holder. Now, I don't know why, but this part was really tricky. <laughs> we had to thread this tubing in to the basket to hold the, the basket insert upright. And it took a little practice, but we got there. And then I'm just taking the chair off to adjust up the inserts or the clips so that I can insert the basket up top. This is optional, but it's nice to have that extra storage. And then on the bottom, you twist outwards the extra set of attachments, um, it, they come twisted inwards. So you wanna twist them out. And then from there, you can attach the, the basket beneath, and then you can add the chair. And the chair can face uh, outward or can be parent facing as well on the bottom. Now 
And here's everything that comes with the standard model. The brake pedal obviously is at the bottom and I like that it shows red if the brake is on. Okay, I'm just going to talk over myself talking here in this video. <laughs> um, basically what I'm saying is that the chair can face forward or face parent and it can be either up top or at the bottom and you can add another chair and face it for, uh, forward or towards the parent. So there's so many different configurations and you can have a chair and a car seat or a chair and a bassinet, two chairs, two bassinets, two car seats. The, the limit does not exist. Okay, bassinet time. Now this is separately purchased. I think with the Uppa Baby Vista, it comes with the Uppa Baby Vista. You'll have to check that out, fact check me, but I think it does come with the Uppa Baby, Baby, making it a little bit more expensive, but there's the rain cover. Here's all the great little configurations you can do with the bassinet and the weight limits. So take a look there. Now, making the bassinet did take a little elbow grease. You have to really push these guys in. From there, I zipped on the side padding and added the mattress and it was ready to go. Oh, you can also add this uh, cover, which is great for different seasons or privacy. And it just snaps into place. So here it is, and it has the top canopy that extends and a handle. And then from there, you can just click it right onto your stroller. Here's just another configuration for you. You also can add the chair up top. You can add it up top or on the bottom. So here's just an example of that and you can make it parent facing or you can face it away. And then here's me adding the uh, car seat adapters, which was really easy to add. You just slide them in. And we have the Nuna Pippa and it fits perfectly. It just slides right in and locks into place. I just think this is a really pretty stroller. I love the lava gray color. Who knows, it might get dirtier faster, but I just think it's so fresh and pretty. And of course, I love all of the different features and the beautiful brown leather handle up top. Okay, we are going to fold the stroller. The first thing you want to do is make sure that these wheels are locked facing forward with a little lever at the bottom. And then you'll want to make sure that the brake is on. From there, you can just fold the chair inwards like so. Then there's three steps. You have to use your thumb to slide, push in the button, and then use this lever. And you have to evenly, dist evenly distribute quite a good amount of force down. And then you'll hear the snap and then it's good to go. You just do the same same thing. You, you pull the same buttons. And then you can just flip this back over this way. All right, that just about does it. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm getting a little tired, so that's the most I can do, but I hope I showed you some useful configurations uh, I hope I was able to inform you on the building process and what you can expect when it arrives. Um, if you are watching this because you are pregnant, congratulations. This is a wonderful time, an amazing time in life. And if you're trying to conceive, I'm here for you. I'm thinking of you. I hope you found this video to be useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. I would love a thumbs up. Or if you could subscribe, that would make my day. Anyways, thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.